Hey guys, I'm Courtney and I'm having a quarter life crisis on the internet. Welcome to the chaos. For today's video, I'm going to be learning how to dress at 24. <laughs> if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, I'll fill you in. If you've seen me before, it's likely that you've seen me in one of three outfits. Crop top and sweatpants, a matching set, and three, which is definitely the most common and most of my wardrobe, oversized hoodies. We're talking like to my knees oversized hoodies. And here's the thing, like I'm not gonna stop wearing oversized hoodies. In fact, I think at this rate I'm going to be buried in an oversized hoodie, but I do, I do want to, I want to switch it up while I'm here and living. <laughs> It might come as a shocker to many of you, but I actually really love fashion. The thing is, I, I don't have an eye for that stuff. The other thing is I literally, like I, I don't know my style. I don't know if I have one. I, I feel like I should. I want to reinvent my wardrobe and I feel like I need to know what I'm reinventing. Previously, I've done a video where I ordered mystery boxes from Depop. That was just me buying either oversized t-shirt, again, the oversized t-shirts. It wasn't catered to me or for me. That was just me buying mystery boxes boxes because I love, I love purchasing digital question marks and not knowing what I'm going to receive as the physical item. It's just a really fun game I love to play with my finances for sure. Um, <laughs> But for today's video, I decided since I want to reinvent my style, it's a new year, I want to just feel better about like looking in a mirror or editing a video back. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be like, whoa, every time I walk past a mirror. Um... <laughs> So I'm trying to do things that make me feel better about me. I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but I do love to wear makeup as well. But that I kind of can figure out on my own, you know? Style though, I've decided to phone a friend, reach out for some help. I took it to TikTok because where else would a right-minded person go? But I reached out to a couple stylists asking if they could make me bundles of outfits based off of my Instagram pictures. To no surprise, not many of the stylists were into it. <laughs> if you're a stylist and right and you're styling a client, typically you wanna know like the colors they like or maybe patterns they dislike. I didn't wanna tell them anything. I just wanted to say, hey, look at my picture and dress me how you think I would look best. What do you think? would make me look like I'm trying <laughs> and yeah they weren't into it but you're watching this video and thankfully for me one personal stylist did get back to me her name is Jenna and I do not want to butcher her last name so I will have her Instagram and TikTok and Depop all linked down below so thank you Jenna because you are the only stylist that I reached out to that agreed to this and I, I can understand why it's a weird request I get it and she goes by a sustainable online stylist so basically she thrifts outfits to make bundles on Depop for people which I think is very cool and helpful for me at this moment I gave her my height my weight my sizes and uh, she just did the rest we did a three outfit bundle for a hundred dollars and fourteen dollars shipping so the total came to 114 which I think is insanely reasonable for three entire outfits and I am so excited and we have the box <laughs> first of all it's so cute I'm pretty sure it's a hello fresh box not sponsored but I'm literally so excited. I'm so excited to have three new outfits, but I'm also excited just to know like what someone else thinks I would look the best in. And like I said before, we all know I love a good mystery unboxing. How should I do this? Probably not like that actually. Oh, we have a bag too, accessories. This is actually really cute. Oh, we have a letter. Wait, I'm so excited. She wrapped everything. I want to open the little note first. Thank you. Oh my god. I really hope you love all the looks I have created for you. Heart Jenna. P.S. All the accessories are in the purse. Oh, so excited. I don't think you understand. Oh my god. This is so fun. I'm so curious what someone else picked out for me. We have outfit number one. Hold on. I'm going to put the purse down for now. It says, this look was inspired by your love of Disney. I thought that this would be such a cute look to wear to the parks. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, this is a lot of pieces. We have a skirt. Can you guys tell how excited I am? Hold on, I need to chill out. We have a brown skirt. It's super soft. It's from Forever 21. We have this little crop top blue and white stripes, also from Forever 21. And then we have this white collar t-shirt, which is also super soft and very comfy. And then I'm so excited. Guys, look at this freaking crew neck she found it's a winnie the pooh crew neck which i think is so cute i have to pay attention to how she told me to wear this and tie the crew neck okay 
Okay, okay. So basically this outfit is like two options in one. You can either wear the skirt with this crop top with the crew neck tied around your waist until it gets cold, or just wear this underneath this and just consistently wear it and kind of take out this shirt. That's so cute. I'm so excited to try these on. Outfit number two. This outfit was inspired by a soft skater style that I feel would look incredible on you. I am not cool enough to be wearing outfits like this. Oh my, I don't know if I can pull this off, but I'm already obsessed with it. First thing we have is this graphic cropped tee. And then underneath we have a long sleeve like cheetah kind of leopard print turtleneck. And then I see the Levi jeans. Oh my God. I'm so excited to see if I can pull this off. I feel like this is outfits of like girls that I follow on Instagram. Then I'm like, you look so cute in that, but I would never think to like pull these things together. And now I don't have to, cause she did for me. Outfit number three. This look was also inspired by a soft skater style. I love the idea of baggy jeans with a cute crop tank and cardigan. I think this style will suit you really well and baggy jeans are just so comfy. We have gray kind of like little tank, actually similar to what I'm wearing right now, paired with other things makes more sense probably this little white cardigan so cute and then the jeans baggy jeans oh my god this was also wrapped up in here and i'm not sure i'm literally so bad with outfits that i have no idea which one she meant for it to be or if it was just like an add-on i could see this going with like the baggy jeans i just showed then again maybe not she said the accessories were in the purse oh my god how cute two adorable scrunchies two super cute necklaces for layering and i I'm so excited to try these on. So this is the first outfit on in the first like variation that she gave me. And then she said you can take the crew neck and uh, tie around your waist and just like kind of wear it until you get cold enough to put it on. The collar may be a little funky because of me, but I feel like this outfit is so cute. When I tell you I am obsessed with this outfit. First of all, these might be my new favorite pair of jeans. This long sleeve is nothing I would have ever picked out on my own, but like I feel like it's actually so cute. I feel like it's somewhat interchangeable for me and I would be able to make different versions of this outfit on my own. Oh my God, I almost just fell. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I'm literally like stretching to get into frame, but let's do outfit number three. I'm honestly so excited. I don't know why this reminds me of something that like Sienna May would wear, but I've been like really into her videos lately, so maybe that's why. But this is what the outfit looks like. The jeans are so, so comfortable. They fit really well. So let's recap. My name is Courtney and I'm having a quarter life crisis on the internet. And today I learned how to style an outfit. I'm literally obsessed with all the outfits that Jenna picked out. And I feel like this is a good start to me reinventing my wardrobe. I think the path I'm gonna start to go down is soft skater, which is what she kept saying. Again, I wanna give a giant shout out to Jenna for not only being the only stylist that would agree to do this with me, but also picking out three bomb outfits. So Jenna, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Love you the most. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this one. Comment down below if you want to see Jenna pick out some more outfits for me. Keep on the skater girl style because I love this style, but I'm willing to try more. We can do the whole like trial and error and see which one sticks the best. I'm in for it. Also, thank you guys so much for 70,000 subscribers. That's actually crazy. I love you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to join the camp. Chaos. You can subscribe to the vlog channel to continue the chaos and you can follow my quarter life crisis all over the internet at Quartz Chaos and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, love you guys. Bye! Wow, that is a breathful! It only took me 31 minutes to correctly say the outro that I came up with. There's literally a truck outside and I don't know if you can hear it on camera but it's really annoying me. Morn Gray is so pretty! She's so pretty. I've literally been scrolling on Instagram for like 10 minutes and the truck is still outside. But follow me on Instagram if you want. I need to take a breath. I need to chill out. All over the internet. Escort. Ooh my. Nope.